Who you be? All right, my name is Chandler Scott, and I top 16 YCS Niagara Falls with Alter Guys. So for the main board, I play three uh, multi faker. This car is amazing in every way. Um, I played three Marionette and three Meloseek, uh, two Silkidus and one Kunkuri. Uh, people are not. Some people aren't playing Kunkuri. This car is really, really, really good, especially when you just want to turn an effect off. So I think that's enough of a reason to play this card. But as a one of, you know, you don't need any more mm -hmm. than that. Yeah. Um, I played for hand traps. I just played the three Ash Blossom. This is all I needed. I didn't really think anything else was going to be like amazing. Um, I didn't really like Ghost Bell when I played it. I didn't really like Ogre in the main board when I played it. This was just the only one that I feel like you should just be playing three of in this deck. So that was that for the monster lineup. That was I think 15 monsters. For the spells, I played the three Secret Village of the Spellcaster. This car is really, really a win button against Sky Striker. It's just, the car is honestly really ridiculous. You just play it and it's like a cold wave. You just turn off every effect. Mm -hmm. like, it just, this car is honestly a blowout car against the deck that it's relevant against. I just, I love it. This car is really, really good. Except when you draw more than one like in the feature match. <laughs> like, um, I play the two Pot of Desires. I don't really care about banishing some stuff. Once I only play this as an extender, so after I go through most of my main board, I really just use this card to go a little bit further. Or say if I did open up pretty poorly, I'll just play the desires. It doesn't matter what I banish, I just need to get into the game. Mm -hmm. it, it, it lets me get into the game or it lets me end the game. It's one or the other. Sure. This card is like really good. I wouldn't play more than two. I play the two called by the grave. This card is incredible. It's just I like guess Sky Striker, it turns off everything. Any search card that the ditch, you know, it just, the card is incredible. Like, this card is stupid good. It's good in the mirror match, too, depending on, you know, the situations. But this card, honestly, is, I wouldn't play this deck without it. Especially when you Mellow Seek into mm -hmm. Link Karibo, and then your opponent tries to Ash you and you have the call. Like, it just seals, it seals the deal. Mm -hmm. Like, this card is honestly, like, a game changer. There's a reason it's a two. Right, yeah. <laughs> I play the three Metaverse. Um, this car is just, I want to see this as much as possible, especially in the matchups that it's relevant against. I thought this would be a good call main boarding. I only played against one Sky Striker player though, but when I played against him, I opened it. So that's what matters. You know, I, I want to see the cards that are going to let me win the game. Mm -hmm. And so this car really just, it lets me win. Like this car is a win button if I have it. Especially if I resolve multi faker off of it, it's, it's done. Even <laughs> it's better. Done. Um, I played the three infinite impermanence. This card Let's makes the cards up a little bit. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this card makes the the deck. It raises the deck ceiling by so much. It's just resolving this on turn one with a multi faker in your hand is crazy. It literally just stops the game. Like you just, mm -hmm. this card is incredible. You're like you literally can't play this deck without this card. If you do, then it's not going to be nearly as efficient. I play the three solemn strike. I don't care about paying life points. Uh, it doesn't matter. This, this card just turns off a lot of cards. It's just. It's just a good card. <laughs> just, you need to play three of it. I played the one judgment. This card protects you from a lot. It's, it's literally just you say no to whatever. Uh, for Alter Guys traps, no Alter Guys, I played three personal spoofing. Uh, this card is incredible. In the mirror match, is whoever gets this first is whoever wins. You need to play three of this in any Alter Guys build. This card is incredible. Uh, I played. Three Alter Guys Manifestation. This card is the people. People who are knocking me for playing three of this card. It's so stupid good. The longer the game lasts, the more powerful this card gets. If you get a hand loop, you could just banish it at Alter Guys Trap back to your hand. Is this card is every in every way this card is amazing. Especially if you um, link away a Hexia and you add a call uh, Manifestation with the Hexia effect in Grave. It's 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 done. <laughs> this card is incredible. I love this card. And I played the two Alter Geist Protocol. This card is also really good. Um, it just stops interruptions. I didn't play any Imperial Order. Uh, I don't think that card is incredible. Uh, Sky Striker can win through it. They'll just burn you for game. Mm. Um, they'll just, yeah, they'll just win. So it, it doesn't, the card is just not as good as it, I feel like it should be. Uh, for a side deck, I play the three evenly matched. This card is, I guess, True Draco, it's a blowout. I guess Alter Geist, it's a blowout. It, it's, this card is a blowout card in general. Like, it does not matter what deck you're really playing against. It's, you just get rid of so many cards on board. 
And then if you resolve a multi-faker off of it, you're, you're winning. Even like, better. You win. <laughs> like, it is what it is. Also, this card doesn't really do too much against... Uh, actually, I'll just wait for that one. Sure. I just played the three Mind Crush. I played this because I do not want to get evenly matched. Mm -hmm. If I get evenly matched, then it's it's over. Mm -hmm. If I don't have this card set and I get evenly matched, though, you better just hope you have some cards you could chain to it so you could resolve as much as you can before they all go. But this card is really just to protect me from evenly. Um, there's not too much I use it against, though. Uh, this card, it was all right in the sideboard. I don't know. I, no one resolved evenly against me, so I don't know how efficient mm -hmm. it really is against other things. Uh, I played the three Inspector Border against against Alter Geist, against uh, against Alter Geist, against Thunder Dragon, against Link Dex, whatever. Like this card, is it seals the deal. This card is so good. Uh, literally, the reason why I won uh, the mirror match in mm. round, the last round of Swiss. This car is stupid. I played the two Droll and Lockbird. I thought that this was pretty all right. Um, I, I don't know if I would keep it in. I didn't think it was incredible, but I guess you're going to have to with all the new danger stuff running around. You're going to need to play this car. This car is really, really, really bonkers against that deck. It just shuts the deck down mm -hmm. for a turn. I played the two Ghost Ogre. This card is also very good in the mirror match. It's good against True Draco. It's good against Sky Strikers. It's, it's, this card is really, really, really good. Um, I'd probably play three of this in the future, but this card itself is just, you know, when your opponent activates spoofing and you they put a monster back as cost and you chain it, like it's, you just got a one for two. Or like I say, if they have a protocol out and they're trying to negate an effect and you Ghost Ogre it, you just you just won. Like mm -hmm. it, it puts them so far behind and you know helps you move ahead. Then I played a two uh, Heavy Storm Duster. I thought this card was all right. It wasn't incredible, but it wasn't bad. You know, I, it was pretty good. It was, mm, it was all right. It was all right, you know. I don't know if I would play this again. I might come up with something different to play, but I thought that this was all right, yeah. though. Um, so that's it for the side deck. So what was your, um, I guess before you go, while we're going to talk about the side deck, what was your, uh, your matchups as far as... Um, uh, what you signed it in and what you would change about the side deck with some of the matchups that you saw and the yeah um, so I think the one deck that really just put it it, it changed the meta for me was uh, Thunder Dragon mm -hmm. and I feel like I wasn't prepped for Thunder Dragon so I, I think that this card is good the inspector border uh, but I don't know if there's really much else in here besides Droll that's like good against Thunder Dragon in the side I think that I don't know. So yeah, it's it's it's. I think the one deck that I was really concerned about was Thunder Dragon, and I I know what I have to side for that. Dimension Barrier is a car. That car is incredible. Mm -hmm. You need you, you got to get the play set in your sideboard. Um, I think that this car is pretty good. Mind uh, Mind Crush, but it's it's so reactive, and if you don't open it turn one, you know what I mean. Like you need mm -hmm. a turn one. Like if you don't see it, then it's you you you're, you're behind. Would you do something like? Um uh, Book of Eclipse or something like that or um, so I, I thought about Book of Eclipse against Thunder Dragon and the thing is is that this deck doesn't search too much mm -hmm. so like it's it's okay I think you need something that's gonna stop the Thunder Dragon player from actually getting there I guess you are playing the impermanence so I guess that, yeah. that definitely helps with the yeah yeah, yeah sure impermanence helps it's just as far as going second if you lose the die roll right if I lose the die roll I just got I'm already if I lose the die roll I'm already behind that's really what yeah. it is um, but I, it's it's, I don't know. It's tough. This the only thing I really struggled with this weekend was Thunder Dragon. Mm -hmm. Like I, my losses were to, I lost to World Chalice. I had no idea what that deck did at all. Yeah, I that's had understandable. No idea. I lost to World Chalice and I lost in Mirror Match. Okay. Uh, those were and I lost to Thunder Dragon top sixteen. Those are my only losses. I overall thought you know I sided pretty well except for the Thunder Dragon matchup. So there's not too much I would change in here except for the. Uh, I would just I need to get another ghost ogre in here and mm -hmm. I need to get the three dimension barriers. Okay. But <laughs> sure. Overall, like this I thought it was fine. With the main board, I wouldn't really change too much besides take out the metaverses mm -hmm. and secret village. It wasn't as strong as I thought it would be. But it, I mean it did me well, but it's not it's not as insane as it sounds. Right. Um, okay, let's yeah. see the extra deck. So the extra deck, 
I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really make too much of this. Um, it's I really, not that important in this Yeah, car. it's not. This, this <laughs> car right here I mean, you, is, you, you make it. It's, right. It's, it's certainly <laughs> a card you can make. Yeah, this card is, this card is bonkers. It's, the best is when you extend with this car and you use it to get the extra search off. That's why the manifestation is mm -hmm. so good. Because you, 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 you link away your Hexia for another Hexia, then you, have the, you add the manifestation back and you set it, you either get a multi-faker from it, you get another Hexia from it, you get, you know, you just, yeah, yeah. you can let an attack go through and you can just, it's, it's broken. This car, this car just lets you extend so much further and the longer the game goes, the more powerful that this is, car is. That is my experience with playing against the deck is yeah. if you get past turn three, you're probably going to lose. Yeah, it's, the longer it goes, the, the, the more powerful it is. I played the one Kadolga. Um, this car is really, really interesting. You can take a monster from the grave. I've taken Rays with this. I've mm. taken, you know, it's, you can take whatever. It, this car is just, I don't use it as no, necessarily to do damage, but to take monsters from my opponent. Mm -hmm. I'm take their resources out in the grave and just have it on my board. So this car is really, I thought it was good. I played the one Prime Banshee. I never made it at this YCS, but I make it all the time at Locals. This car is it's, it's pretty good. It lets you get a multi-faker out, like ensures a multi-faker, mm -hmm. especially with the uh, protocol face-up. This car is it's, it's, it's pretty all right. Uh, the Link Karibo, I only play it one. Uh, I never needed more than one, but this card is like the starter. Uh, you, know, you have Mellow Seek, you mm -hmm. just link into it, you, you're good to go if it resolves. That's why you play the Call by yep. Grave, and then you always get that thing to resolve. This card is really good. Uh, and then the rest, I played uh, a bunch of uh, targets for cherries. Uh, I, I don't know, the rest of it was pretty... Cherries? I don't even play cherries. <laughs> Uh, I, I was playing cherries, but this is how irrelevant the extra deck is. Yeah. You don't really need much. This card would be good if I played against any Cyber Dragon player. You gotta remember with this, with the Chimera tech, it just it needs one Cyber Dragon monster. Mm -hmm. So you just, whenever they bring out an Infinity and they mm -hmm. got something in the extra deck, you just, just fuse them. It's yeah. done. Like, yeah, you definitely. Turn off those negates. Um, and that's the deck. All right. Yeah. Any, uh, any last words or shout outs or? Uh, I want to give a shout out to a couple people. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the Goon Squad. You know, they made me the player I am today. Uh, they know who they are. Shout out to the Dave Nader channel. Dave Nader is great. I'm in one of their other videos too. I'll make a man out of you. Yep. Shout out to Dave Nader and the people behind that channel. And a shout out to my locals, Millennium Games. These people are great in here. You know, it's a really, they're really coming up in terms of skills. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Also, a last shout out to Patrick Hoban in that book, The Road of the King. I read that book literally two weeks before this event and I got my first top from it. So give it, give that book a read, it's amazing. I promise you it'll really show you how to be a player, like how to be a good player, how to, it'll, it'll, it'll up your game. And one last shout out to Johnny Lee. Uh, he had this one video talking about his ARG experience. He made top eight at that tournament and he talks about the four dimensions of play. Give that a watch if you want to up your game. I promise you it'll make a difference in how you play. All right, well, thank you very much, Chandler, and uh, good luck to you in the future. Thank you. Appreciate it. Huh. Clicking the subscribe button's a good move. I guess there's a first time for everything. Feel free to click on these third rate videos from a fourth rate Yugi tuber. But I don't have time for such amateurs. Come on, Mokuba, let's go get ice cream. <laughs>